All right, I found some documentation here. Uh, this is the Keithley 160B. Let's look at the uh, information here. Voltage sensitivity to one microvolt per digit. Current to 0 0.01 nanoamps per digit. Resistive sensitivity to 0 0.001 ohms per digit. <laughs> yeah, this thing's pretty much a monster. It's great. All right, let's... Uh, Let's see what we can see here. Oh, here's the battery option. I do not have the battery option. Maybe I should make one though. That might be fun. Um, I want to get down to block diagrams and things like that. Front panel controls, blah, 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 blah. Those little replaceable fuse in the front in case you overcurrent the thing. That's good. And an out outboard shunt. I guess you can make this the options you can get. All right, let's keep going here. I'm sure the stuff that I want to know about is where is my page down button? Let's get to the good stuff here. All right, let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, there we go. So here's the block diagram. Uh, there's an input goes into a range switching attenuator. Okay, so that's the switches on the front. There's some current shunt resistors. Okay. The ohm meter circuitry is just the um, current sources. And then there's an amplifier and an A to D and a display. And that's pretty simple block diagram. Okay, let's get a little more complicated. Uh, this is how it's used for DC operation. Um, so let me, uh, can I draw on this thing? Yeah. There's a modulator and there's a demodulator. Okay, so the way these things work is it's a chopper stabilized amplifier. The modulator chops it at 100 and, at um, 220 hertz, it says, uh, which is not a multiple of 60 and not a multiple of 50. And so uh, that's, otherwise you'll get fluctuations due to the beating on those frequencies and stuff. So it chops it at 220 and then it goes into an AC amplifier and then it de-chops it and goes into a DC amplifier. So yeah, turns it into AC, turns it into DC, but they're synchronized. The modulator and demodulator are synchronized. So it gets rid of all common mode and noise and all kinds of stuff. For resistance, you just uh, force a current, measure the voltage. And in current, uh, that's for resistance. In current, you force a voltage measure, uh, force a, you, you have the voltage go into a load and then measure the voltage. That's the way that one works. Okay. Okay. So, um, before we get to this, well, I guess we can talk about this first. Um, so I don't know if you remember, but on the circuit board, there was a white IC and I didn't know what it was. And it started with the letter F and I thought that might be a Fairchild part. In fact, it is, it's a custom part made for Keithley and it's their LSI part, uh, large scale integration part. And you, it's a special custom part. No one's ever bought it, but Keithley. And this is what it has inside of it. So it has a an ADD converter. Well, so let's let's first start with uh, the back half. Um, so if we just look at this stuff over here, um, there's a latch, which is a there's going to be a count. We latch the count and then we display it. And the way we display it, it was to multiplex it across different digits. And then we have seven segment decoders for the different segments, and that outputs it. So this part of the LSI chip just handles the display. Um, this part is just a counter. So if the front panel is displaying one zero 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 for one volt, this counter has just counted a thousand. Um, and so the counter just runs until it gets to whatever voltage you're measuring. And so if it went to 500, it would display 0 0.5000, right? Um, and if it got up to one volt, it would get up to 1,000. If it got up to, you know, quarter of a volt, it'd be 0.25. It'd be 250 counts. And so that's what the counter does. And then you have to turn the counter on and off. And then that becomes the A to D converter. 
All right, let's go down to the schematics. Uh, let's find those. Very classic for an old schematic. Okay, let's see here if I can rotate. Oh, it won't let me rotate pages. Oh man, really? That's pretty silly. Anyway, um, this is the uh, LSI chip. Um, and it's just driving the dis the segments, the displays. So all of this here is just the segment part of the uh, drive uh, uh, display part of the circuit. Here's the actual good stuff. So this is um, the input happens down over here somewhere, and it comes in here. It comes in here, um, and then there's a bunch of switching and stuff, and it finally makes its way up over here, and then it goes into uh, the amplifier. So here's the chopping circuit. These two transistors chop it at 220 hertz. It goes through the, the AC amplifier, which is this one, and then it gets unchopped, which happens here. That's unchopping it. So chopping it, unchopping it, and then this is a DC amplifier. And then once it gets into a DC amplifier, it goes into, um, I'm sorry, back up. This is the DC amplifier here, all right? And then it goes into an integrator and this is the integrator. So what the integrator does is it starts to go up, right? You set up a current and the integrator is going to integrate up. It'll get bigger. The voltage out of the integrator will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And while it's getting bigger, you're counting. So you start out at zero and then you let the integrator go and you're counting 100, 200, 300, 400. You're, you're continuing to count. And then when it gets up to the voltage that you've got, it stops. And if it went up to maybe a volt, it would stop, and the counter would then say 1,000. And uh, so the output of the uh, integrator, and how do I know it's an integrator? Because the feedback loop on this op amp is a capacitor. So the output of the integrator then goes over here and goes into a comparator. And that's the thing that says you got to the voltage you were think you thought you were going to get to. The calibration of this thing is set by a voltage here on this uh, little Zener diode. And so you, you can figure out what the voltage is by counting how much does it take to get to this voltage and how much does it take to get to this voltage and and you can you can calibrate this thing so it counts up to a thousand correctly um otherwise i don't think there's much else to know about this thing um all of the magic's done in that one lsi chip and it's just a counter i mean you could replace that all with a you know microcontroller <laughs> these days um yeah but there we go